Hold on, Maya. Excuse me. Excuse me. So thanks y'all for being here tonight. I appreciate being welcomed onto the Lyrics and Laughs family. Um, it's been really cool. Um, appreciate you all being out here. Um, my piece I'm doing tonight is a little political, you know, how it goes. So appreciate y'all listening with an open mind. This one's called 2020. I was going through the motions, scrolling, texting, checking, electing to spend my time in a place that doesn't even exist. Consuming the news feeds, feeding my feelings of imminent doom, yet I'm resuming old habits because I'd rather inhabit a new world with minimal thought than accept and fix the one that we've got. Don't you lie more often? I do too, but who are we to think we can make a difference when indifference speaks loudest? We're overcrowded with deceit and their suspension of disbelief allowed for plot holes in our polls to create a fully pardoned thief, leading me down the rabbit hole, wholly consumed by conspiracies, received through tweets. Retreating to my disguise, I'm just as bad as the other side, divided, bitterly collided with opposing views, but what am I supposed to choose? How can I cohabitate with people who wouldn't mind eradicating a race just because they feel they've invaded our space? Kids in cages is just a side effect of God's plan to keep our borders safe. Land of the free and the openly racist. They try to give us hope. They tell us to persist and to resist, but to coexist, it's oxymoronic and chronically creating polyphonic arguments to the point past them being ultrasonic. And the worst part is these phrases have been stated so many times past the point of them resonating with any of us here. Desensitized since 2016, couldn't have foreseen the reality. Apprentice to the deity on TV. Look, I don't want to demean because I know religion can be good when it's done right. The Christ is gone, and his love is overpriced. Sacrificed to fund corrupt habits. Coldest indulgences make them feel absolved, because they can divulge their sins for now, maybe forever. You laugh at the absurdity, but not at our own endeavors. See, we've got our own agenda, too, thinking if we cancel someone, the world is better, and our agenda don't arrive until they wear that supposed scarlet letter. <laughs> as if these rich fucks are changed by our limited character sentiments on their deranged behavior. Finally, a savior, the woke kings and queens of Twitter, deliver us into anger. The danger truly lies in what we share, ignoring the nuance to scenarios and simplifying their words into those demented statements, attempting abatement of their career when really, it's just a hashtag, and we all ignore the mirror cultivate indoctrination. But who am I? I'd be wrong to think I can encompass all of our misguided good intentions within some stanzas, hands of a hypocrite, standing on two feet, but bending to the will of the trending topics. Yeah, I'm there too. Giving my penniless opinion, wishing something would change already. Isn't that all we really want? <laughs> 